Right guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dan's a lot of tat. Tat stands for this and that. I'm a full-time eBay reseller. I buy things as cheap as I can, sell them as high as I can. I pick them up from wherever I can, basically. Today I'm gonna to pick you through my orders from Sunday afternoon to Wednesday last night. We got 21, 22 orders going out. Um, I'll put in the thumbnail just how much I made over the past three days. I've been doing really, really well since I went full time. I know a lot of it is probably to do with Q4, but still good for morale. Um, I was gonna do uh, picking half the week this week and then at the end of the week, but because I got so many orders over the past three days, I thought I'd just make one video and get it out now. So I'll strap you up on my head like usual. I'll run you through everything that we got. So let's get into the intro and then we'll get picking. Right, we'll start off with uh, this Montclair polo that I picked up. Some of you probably saw it um, the other week. Yeah, some of you probably saw it the other week when I picked it up from a charity shop. Uh, I think I paid £10 for it and it sold for £50. I actually had it up for £69.99 um, and took an offer on it in the end because better to get it out the door than to hang around. Right, next uh, we've got a pair of uh, boots, um, MX2s, which are these here. Came with my uh, thousand pound haul, nothing special really, brand new, couple of little scuffs on them. Uh, 999 plus 399 postage. Right, next uh, we've got a, uh, a men's um, knit Ralph Lauren jumper, which I believe is there. It's very nice, sort of like a retro kind of style, retro vintage kind of style with big cable knit. Uh, I took an offer on that of uh, £20 plus free postage. I've been cut out for £24.99 with free postage. Uh, next we got um, a Pilot Flight Bomber jacket, which is down here. Again, this was part of my uh, £1,000 haul. No frills jacket. Uh, it's not really made by anyone unless that's the brand and it's a good brand and I've undersold it. I don't think so though. Got $21.99 plus $3.99 postage. Right, for all those that think I only deal with clothes, we've got a, uh, a stereo going out, which is right here. Um, there should be a remote with it as well. I think I picked this up at a boot sale. Um, just after lockdown, and um, I think I paid something like two pounds for it. Not a lot, but it didn't go for tons. Fifteen pound plus six ninety nine postage. Uh, right next, we got a, uh, a forty JVC player. Um, it's a DVD video combo it records, but. Um, I think the video side wasn't working. It's actually going to Italy. I did send them a message when they sent me the offer. Yeah, I did send them a, a message back with a counter offer of the same amount that they offered, saying that you are aware it doesn't work. Uh, they accepted and paid. That's the Tvon one. We don't want the Tvon one. We want the JVC one, which is this one. There you go, as I say, it does it all, but yeah, just one side wasn't working. Um, I didn't lose any money on it, so no bad thing, really. Yeah, say, so, um, I think I paid 
was it maybe five pound at a boot sale and yeah so i got my money back on it at least right next we've got a pair of um boots again combat boots they're the cheaper ones in this box i believe max steel uh 26.99 uh, I did free postage on that for some reason, I don't really know why, but um, yeah, again, that was my thousand pound haul. Uh, right, next we've got a pair of, uh, well, two pairs of Levi 501s, um, 36.40, which are, these ones I believe, 36, 36.40, 36.34, I put both of them on the same one because they were identical. Uh, yeah, so I put them up. Um, as a quantity of two um, on the 10th and they sold on the 10th so I got the full asking price which worked out at 39.98 plus postage of 6.89 uh, right next we've got a Elise hoodie which I believe is this one right here Picked this up in charity shop a couple weeks ago. Paid three pounds seventy, I think, for it. Uh, sold it for eleven pound plus three ninety nine posted. So not the greatest markup in the world, but you know, pays the bills. I was kind of hoping it would fetch a little bit more than that, but I'm happy with the sale, nevertheless. Right next, we got uh, Paul Smith jeans. Now I sold these once already. And I accidentally put that they were a 38 waist, not a 34 waist, so obviously they got returned. So I relisted them. Oh, there you go, right there. Relisted them with the correct size. And took an offer on them at £12 plus £3.99 postage. I think they owed me about £5, so again, not the greatest markup, but not losing money, getting them out the door getting money to buy more stuff right um, that uh, little mousetrap thing is actually at home <clears throat> so I don't know if you remember me saying a little while ago I got a mousetrap from boot sale you might remember the video um, and it turned out there was two complete mousetraps in there so obviously I, I, I sold one I think I paid two pound for the thing so I got two mousetraps in there one was like the box and then one was complete getting that box I sold the one box complete for 25, 26 pound, I can't remember now. And then I've just been slowly selling off the pieces of the other one. Um, and I think I've made about 30 pounds so far on like three or four pieces of it. So that uh, is just a little top tip for you. If you ever see a, like a vintage mouse trap, even the more modern ones, um, I don't think you'll be able to ask quite as much money. But even if they're not complete, they're still worth picking up because people want to buy the parts to complete them to sell them or to play them so it's always good but yeah i've got 7.99 for all four mice plus a pound postage so they'll go as they'll probably end up having to go as a large letter um just so that they don't get squashed but right next we've got a uh, vintage nike sweatshirt which is right here this came as part of my vault haul i believe um it's nothing special it's just sort of like a pastel purple nike um, sweatshirt pullover uh, took an offer of £11 plus 12, uh, 12 £2.99 postage right next uh, we've got some remote control sumo wrestlers um, so there's the remotes there's the wrestlers um, these oh, great my light's dying Hopefully we can finish the video before the light completely dies. Finished? Good. Uh, yeah, I actually got these for free. Um, someone local to me was just clearing out their loft and was just putting everything out front, said basically come and take what you want. So I went and got loads of things. That's why I got most of my hangers and I grabbed a, a box full of toys that I thought my little girl might like. And there was these in there. And they were boxed, but the box was just tattered to shreds so I threw the box away got 17.99 plus 3.99 postage they actually came from B&M initially obviously discontinued right next uh, we've got a red Nike hoodie <coughs> so 
a nice large pullover. Um, it's like, what's the size? XXLT, so it's like a 3XL slash 4XL, pit to pit's 29 inches on, it's huge. Came in part of my um, thousand pound haul again. Uh, I originated it for $26.99 plus $2.99 postage, being a bit cheeky, it was very, very highly priced, especially since there's nothing special. Uh, ended up taking off for £20 plus £2.99 postage, so close to what I wanted. I wanted £26 with postage, but you know, I'm not going to argue over the £3. Right, next, um, that other Hawaiian Levi's shirt has gone out the door. Uh, pick this up back in more summer. <laughs> Hoping that when we, because when we came out of lockdown, people would be going on holidays and want Hawaiian shirts. I sold one of them. I had a 2XL and a 1XL, both the same, pardon me, both the same style. Uh, but this one has gone out in the winter in lockdown, surprisingly, for £24.99 with free postage. Um, I think I paid £14 for the pair of them, and I think between the pair of them, I sold them both for around 50 quid. So, nice bit of profit there. Right, next we've got a, um, a Nike Air Max hoodie, which I believe is this one. This one's like um, pre-2000s, early 2000s, Nike Air Max on a grey label. It's nothing fancy, but it's Nike Air Max, nice Air Max logo on the back. Uh, I believe I took an offer of £27 plus free postage on it. I think I had it up for £29.99. Right, next we've got a, another video machine, which I believe is this one right here. Again, not just selling clothing. Again, it's a no frills video machine. It's a sharp, no remote, £25, £7.99 postage. Um, I think, I can't remember if I got this from a charity shop or from a boot sale. If I got it from a charity shop, it cost me a tenner. If I got it from a boot sale, probably not more than a fiver. Right, next we've got a uh, Ralph Lauren uh, navy blue polo shirt. Right, there it is. Yeah, just a uh, Ralph Lauren polo, say you get a golf one, Ralph Lauren golf polo. They're pretty much the same as the normal ones. Uh, sold for 14 95 plus free postage. Probably picked it up a boot sale for no more than a couple of quid. Uh, next we've got a, um, a Chelsea football shirt that has Lampard 8 on the back, it's a 2005 shirt. Uh, picked it up uh, two weeks ago I think. Literally posted it last night, sold last night. Um, I listed it high, 44 99 free postage. Took an offer of £40 for it. Again, not my thing, don't really like Chelsea, I'm a Man United fan, but Chelsea making me money, I'm not gonna moan. Right, next we got um, Adidas All Court Jackets, so light jackets, another one that came from my thousand pound haul. It's just, it's like, it's really nice, it's, it's very 80s style, but modern, so originals but yeah very nice uh what did we get for it uh 16 pound plus free postage took an offer i think i had it i had it up for 19.99 uh right next we got a um a vintage 90s adidas coat which uh sold for four asking price 39.99 plus 4.99 postage believe this was part of the uh the boots out mass hall clothing that I got for a tenner. It's stripe arms. It's this one. See that one? So it's this one. Kind of reminds me of like Newcastle. Uh, sort of 90s Newcastle when they used to have their Adidas strip with the uh, this, like black and blue accents. But yeah, that was a nice sale. Uh, get out of the face, you. 
Right, next we got, um, it's technically actually coming this morning, but I'll grab it anyway. There's a pair of Timberland pink boots. There they are. Tucked right in the corner. I'll pick these up from a, uh, turn the torch off now. Pick these up from a charity shop. I think I paid six pound for them. Because uh, they're slightly smaller size, size five, and it's all right, women's size. Um, I had to replace the laces. The laces were absolutely annihilated. Um, but yeah, took uh, took an offer. I've got twenty nine ninety nine, which was four asking price plus three ninety nine postage. Right. Now we got Depop sales. Sales or sale? I can't remember. Yeah, Depop sales. So, yeah, Depop sale. <laughs> right, it's a Levi's hoodie, which, um, there it is. Yeah, it's a nice Levi's hoodie. Uh, came in my vault haul. Uh, what did we take for it? I think it was, uh, yeah, 20 pound with free delivery. Uh, and then we got a subscriber sale. Um, thank you to you know who you are, because I'm sure you'll be watching. Uh, it's nice Ralph Lauren jumper, sort of a dark grey. Sold that to my subscriber, gave him an offer of £20 of free postage. So yeah, that's all my uh, sales for the past uh, three days. Uh, yesterday was over a £300 day, which is nice. Um, if there's anything you see in my unit or when I pick it up that you're interested in, drop me a message, like comment down below or message me on Instagram. My Instagram details are down in the, uh, the description. Send me a message and I'll give you a nice tasty subscriber discount. Uh, also down in the description is all uh, my affiliate links from Amazon for everything that I use for my business. Oh, pardon me, I've got the burps today. Yeah, everything they use for my business, um, from everything from my packing suppliers to my scales, my printer, um, all of my cleaning products I use to clean things. So yeah, go down, have a look. Um, if there's anything you see me using in any of my videos that you think, oh, that's really good, I wouldn't mind buying that, go check out in my uh, description down below because I'm sure it'll say down there uh, what it is. Don't forget to subscribe and ding, 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 ding that bell so you get notified every time I upload. Now that I'm full time, I'm gonna try uploading a lot more so you might get two or three videos a week from me. Um, probably gonna be a bit, little bit hard for content while we're in lockdown. Um, I've got a few plans of a couple of little things. So keep an eye out for them. And then hopefully lockdown won't last too long and we can get back out and about in the charity shops and everything picking stuff up seeing what goodies we can get All right don't forget to give the video a good old thumbs up and i'll catch you in the next one see you later